90% of organizations have suffered in a cyber attack. That is like a startling statistic. 80% of organizations actually experience a cyber attack every two weeks. Uh, this is a significant number. 70% of backup data is actually compromised. So I really want to caution organizations out there you know, in, in the region, think about your backup. Backup is not something that is just you know, the responsibility of IT operations. My name is Kavita Mariapan. I'm the Chief Transformation Officer at Rubrik. Rubrik is a data resilience platform that powers the AI era. Um, and here at Rubrik, my job is really to work on our top customers uh, and guide them through their digital transformation journey and their AI transformation journeys by ensuring that they have a cyber resilient platform as they navigate this journey. Yeah, it's a great question. You know, as we think about resilience, uh, I think we have been through a, a real shift in the industry over the last several decades. It really all started with us building um, online systems and, and having a lot of data sitting in our corporate environments and building data centers, where when the data became um, a lot, we started to uh, focus on automating a lot of this and then we went through a phase called automation transformation. And then over the last so many decades, we started to digitize the enterprise. We started to move into the cloud, uh, embrace mobility. Um, you know, the internet became the, the new network and uh, the cloud became the new data center. As we think about that, you know, we started to grapple with different issues where um, now we were dealing with cloud misconfigurations. We were dealing with um, the proliferation of data, right? Collecting a vast amount of data. At the same time, we were also seeing the increase in cyber attacks. And so at this point, you know, we were really dealing with what we would call digital transformation, right? As organizations collected a lot of technical debt. Um, today, we're really sitting at the precipice, I would say, of what we call AI transformation as we move towards this. And so backup and recovery, uh, historically, was really built for a world where we were dealing with, I would say, operational and physical disasters and disruption where we kept you know, our, our valuable data stored and if something happened, you know, which was not as frequent, we could roll back. And when we think about like this digitized climate, when we build a digital enterprise, uh, these disruptions were uh, different, our attack surface was wide, and all of a sudden we need very different solutions. We, we want to make sure when we are recovering um, in, in, a, in, a, you know, in a digitally transformative era that you are recovering to a clean copy, immutable agapped copy of our data uh, that, and make sure that it's not infected by a cyber attack. Now, one of the things we have learned through our Rubric Zero Labs, which is our Rubric Security Insights uh, Lab, you know, we, uh, as Rubric sits in line and looks at a vast amount of data and signals, identity we're noticing is the biggest attack perimeter, the front line of how cyber incidents are occurring. In fact, 80% of successful cyber attacks are actually from and, and, and impacting the identity perimeter. That is the one thing that we're seeing. So if that is the case, we want to ensure obviously that all organizations are one, building towards a zero trust architecture. You know, you're ensuring that based on that architecture that you're minimizing um, any attack penetrating your identity perimeter. And when we think of identity, it's really important to think about not just human identities, but also non-human identities. As we go into this AI era, we're also going to see agentic identities. So, you know, one of the things that's going to happen as we think about identity in this, in this new paradigm is we are going to see the number and the magnitude of, of identity-based attacks, if we're seeing an identity-based attack today as one for human-based identities, that's going to be 10x as we move into sort of this AI world. And so it is really important that our identity services and solutions um, can, one, um, be protected, and that if there is an, an incident and an impact to our identity services and our identity infrastructure, that it's easily recoverable. So rubric, um, as 
introduced identity uh, resilience as a solution. And with that, we are able to, one, ensure that um, whether your identity is on-prem with uh, Active Directory or in the cloud with Entra ID, uh, these identity-based uh, threats or incidents can be uh, rolled back and recovered very quickly. One, I mean, one of the great things about being here at Jitec and obviously in this region is MENA is an amazing, you know, growing region. It is really going to become, I think, like a massive digital footprint in the world. And if we think about that, there, there are a lot of conversations around, uh, one, the vast amounts of data, and I know the region is like heavily investing also in AI. So what does AI think, you know, need? AI needs vast amounts of data, right? And so this very data starts to become one, the currency, you know, for us to um, build a digital enterprise, for us to do um, artificial intelligence and, and, and innovate in the region. Two, that very data also becomes uh, the fuel for these initiatives and innovation. But three, it also becomes the attack surface. So what we want to do and make sure is partner with, whether it's government um, agencies or the private enterprise or academia in the region, and we're very committed to that. We want to make sure that in the region, um, these organizations, whether it's private industry, government agencies, or academia, are heavily investing in ensuring data integrity so that the data that powers their AI initiatives is one, not manipulated, not encrypted, not corrupted, um, so that um, the region can greatly benefit from the, the innovation that is going to power uh, the digital enterprise in the region. So we're very committed to, to partnering um, and, you know, with organizations in the region.